13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News Update, a new report from the coroner's office is revealing new information about the man who stole a car and then hit and killed Trooper Micah May during a chase. According to the report, Douglas Claiborne had excessive amounts of methamphetamine in his system, more than 90 times the level the prosecutors need to show impairment. The report states he had 9,000 nanograms per millimeter of meth in his blood. In late July, Trooper May was laying down spike strips on I-15 when police say Claiborne hit him. May died a couple days later. A father and son have been arrested on suspicion of starting a massive California wildfire that forced tens of thousands to flee the Lake Tahoe area. The so-called Caldor fire started burning in late August. The El Dorado County District Attorney's Office says David Scott Smith and his son Travis Shane Smith are accused of reckless arson in a warrant issued. The fire burned more than 300 square miles to the Nevada border. Danny. Wet and windy weather on the way for Thursday. In fact, even overnight into tomorrow morning, those clouds are increasing. The rain chance starts right around the morning commute with the best chance during midday. But chances right around 80 percent and continue through Thursday night. So a really solid shot for showers at some point, no matter where you are in the region. For the mountains, that means snow, a winter weather advisory in effect for elevations greater than 6,000 feet starting at 4 a.m. We could pick up anywhere from 3 to 7 inches between 6 and uh, 8,000 feet. The peaks could pick up almost a foot and of course really windy thanks to that cold front behind the front. The clouds clear quickly and temperatures drop. Expect gusts near 30 miles per hour on Thursday in Las Vegas. That wind weakens this weekend with sunshine and cold temperatures into the start of next week. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.